question six, let's differentiate straight away. We've got two x's from here and a minus six. Two x's and minus six. And what do we know? We know that the x value is two. Uh, the y value, throw a two in there, so I've got four. Take away 12, add five, is minus three. And our gradient, our gradient is going to be, throw the two into here, gives us four, take away six, which is minus two. What do we want? No, we want a normal. So we want a normal one. So we actually want the gradient, the normal, which is going to be a half, the negative reciprocal of that. So the normal is going to be y, take away this y number, equals gradient x, take away the x number. And we could tidy that up just to go y equals a half x, and that's going to be minus 4, isn't it? Uh, minus 1, take away another 3, minus 4. Work out the coordinates of point B where the normal crosses the curve again. So we want this line here to meet this curve here. So I'm going to write those two things equal to each other. Here's the line equals here's the curve. And it's going to be a quadratic, but I think I'm going to get rid of that half first of all. I'm going to times everything by 2 first of all. So if I times it all by 2, I'm going to get an x minus an 8, timesing this by 2, everything here by 2, gets all of that. And now I'll drag everything over to the right-hand side. So now I'm just going to have minus 11 x's here. No, now I'm going to have minus 13 x's here. And I'm going to add on the 8, so I've got a plus 18 now. OK, just bringing up my calculator now, I've got answers for my quadratic, sticking in the 2 there. I've got the minus 13 and the 18. You get two answers to the quadratic as expected. So we've got one answer when x is 9 over 2, and the other answer is when x is equal to 2. Now we expected that one because we had that one earlier. That's where we started, isn't it? That the x is equal to 2. So that means point B. Point B must have an x coordinate of 9 over 2. And point B's x coordinate is 9 over 2, so then to find out what point C is going to be, we'll throw the 9 over 2 into either of these two things here, and that will tell us that the other point of that one there is going to be 7 quarters. Um, for the very last bit, it says prove that the line AB is not normal to the curve at B. Well, to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this 9 over 2 in our gradient formula here then. So at B, dy by dx here, throwing in the 9 over 2 in here, that's 9, 9 take away 6, 9 take away 6 is 3. So therefore the normal, the gradient, the normal at that point would be minus 1 third. Well, minus 1 third is not the same gradient as this line here, which was a half. They are totally separate. They are different numbers. And so because those two gradients are different, that would be the basis of my proof that it was not normal at that point there. You'd need to write it more formally than I just did there.